Nestra. What I enjoy the most about making videos for this channel is seeking out and discovering halfway obscure and forgotten games. A great example of this is the game Avenging Spirit for Game Boy. This actually started out as a two-player arcade game with really fun and inventive gameplay, but it only received one port to... Game Boy? What a strange choice. Although I guess it could be attributed to how weird this game is. You start out as a ghost, but not for long, because you have to find a physical form to possess to progress with the game, and there's an energy meter that acts as a time limit that ticks away the longer you're in your ghost form, and if you can't find anyone to possess and your energy meter runs out, it's game over. You can take the form of everything from random dudes to vampires to kangaroos, yeah, pretty weird. You stay in these forms until either you get hit or until you decide to abandon them, at which point they crumble to the ground leaving only a skeleton. Wow, okay. But yeah, this game is very much like something out of the Kirby series. It's really fun to just putz around and possess random people just to see what abilities they have. The level design here is just okay, it's not great, but it occasionally allows for some interesting flexibility, like leaving your body behind and racing the clock as you fly as a ghost through a more difficult part of the stage, and just cross your fingers and hope there's somebody sitting there afterward that you can possess and save your ass. Avenging Spirit also has a massive amount of replay value because you can choose different things to possess on each playthrough, very cool. It should be noted though that the boss battles for the most part are one on one, so you have to be wary of who you choose to fight in those battles, and no, you can't possess a boss sadly. If the gameplay itself sounds weird to you, the story is even weirder. You and your girlfriend are mugged by some gangsters. You are shot dead while she is kidnapped. However, her dad happens to be a scientist specializing in ghost energy, so he summons you to go get her back somehow. But the gangsters actually have a motive here. They're also researching ghost energy and are extorting Mr. Ghost Energy Scientist Guy for information. Because yeah, the Mafia always had an interest in ghosts and stuff, right? Remember Al Capone and Vito Corleone always going on about ghosts and spirits and possessing things? No? Okay. Anyway, Avenging Spirit is really a surprise. This is a fun game, and good news, it's available on the 3DS Virtual console for only a few bucks. If you're tired of the usual platformers and are looking for something a little more creative, check out Avenging Spirit.